Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I have created an Atom inspired uh, six options infographic slide in PowerPoint. You can see here I have created uh, seven different circles of different shapes and different colors. And I have added some icons and uh, added the text to it. And when I click, I have added one more slide with the animation. So you can see here, this is the first option, then second, third, fourth, fifth, and the six circles uh, with the animations. And likewise, if you want, you can just put the icon somewhere like this or the text inside this one. Or you can use some different colors to the lines also. And if you want, you can just make it the four options also. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and I've changed the background to gradient fill. Go to view, enable the guides. Go to insert shapes. Select an oval shape. Draw the oval shape while holding the shift key. And then you can align center and align middle. Shape outline, make it no outline. Then I'm going to give a gradient fill for this. Right mouse click, go to format, shape and select gradient fill. I'm going to use two stops. The first stop I'm going to give a dark blue color and the other one I'm going to give a light blue color. And type from radial to make it uh, linear and the direction you can make it uh, this one. And then we'll give some more uh, effects to look like a shining 3D ball. Now I'm going to give some shadow effect for that. Go to insert shapes, select uh, oval shape once again, shape outline, make it no outline and give the gradient fill. For this, I'm going to use some black and white color. So first I'm just going to make it a black color here. And this one I'm going to select a white color with the transparency to 100% and bring it here. Or you can change the transparency to the other color to blue also. So let me just add one more stop. And this also I'm just going to make it 100% and increase the size. And this also you can increase your transparency. Let me just increase the size further and put it at the bottom. So you can see here, let me just remove the guidelines now. You can see here some a shadow effect has been created. And then I'm going to create some more uh, a shining effect there. I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D. So instead of this black, I'm going to make it white. And this also I'm going to make it white. I'll just reduce the size. Put it here. This you make it again 100%. And this also you can increase a little bit transparency. And press Ctrl D, make it one more and add it here so it looks like a a 3D effect. Here let me just make it this is hundred percent, this is also hundred percent. Let me just reduce it. So this also I can reduce it. So you can see here this is a shining effect. Now you can select all this, press Ctrl G to group it. Now I'm going to add more smaller circles. So I'm just going to select this, press Ctrl D, reduce the size and put it here. And then I'm going to just change the blue color only which is 
I'm unable to select so maybe I'll ungroup it and then or I'll just move this select this blue color and give some different color so I'm going to use maybe a purple here and a lighter purple and put back this one here and then I'm going to add some more here somewhat smaller and again I'll give some different color this will be a light brown and some darker brown so you can add as many as circle you want so you can add this side also I'm going to just increase the size a little bit again I'm going to select a different color maybe a green and a lighter green and the last I'm just going to use one more here with more smaller one let me change the color to some different color here maybe I'll use uh, orange and a lighter orange and then I'm going to connect this all these circles so I'm going to add one rectangle draw a rectangle something like this shape outline <coughs> no outline let me just reduce the size further and then I'm going to insert a triangle here so this triangle I'll put it on the top and rotate it and shape outline make it no outline and then add one more at the bottom and rotate this using the alt and the right or left arrow key so once you align this I'm going to select all these three press ctrl G to group it and reduce the size and put it here rotate it so this is my first one ctrl D to duplicate this is my second ball So likewise, we can just add it to the other circles also. And then the last one. So you can see here I have added four circles if you want you can add it five or six now let's add some icons and text so to insert icons go to insert click the icons and you need to have an active internet connection and the latest PowerPoint version so I'm just going to select uh, some icons one two three and maybe four insert and shape fill the graphic fill I'm going to make it white 
and start putting one by one this is one this is here this is one and one more here if you want you can reduce the size also and then you can add your text here I'll just say century gothic center align and then control D to duplicate this is for this and so if you want you can add some icons in the bigger circle also now this is the design if you want you can some add some animations to it so before adding the animation i just need to group all these objects control g so it becomes one object you can see here and then i'm going to thread this also control g and control G then I'm just going to use uh, the animation first go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation I'll just use a teeter can you just see here double click timings I'll make it until end of the slide and very slow so it be like this and then using the animation painter i'm going to copy to all other animations uh, to other objects double click i'll put it here then i will put it here and i'll put it here now if i just play this one you can see here or if you want to see in the slideshow this is one when I click this is two this is three and this is four that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.